Uh, my poster is uh, actually is a part of study about the breast-based uh, early diagnosis of Alzheimer's disease. And uh, this project is supported by uh, Breast Alzheimer Charity. And um, it's part of study. Uh, we in this study we uh, plan to recruit uh, 50 uh, um, health control, 25 AD, and 25 uh, MCIs. And so uh, to in extra um, biomarkers from breast is called um, VOC, a violent uh, organic um, component. Try to find something can uh, discriminate it is from the health controls. And so far, uh, we just uh, in the uh, quite early. We, in total, we recruit about 26, um, 26 uh, um, participant, 20 health control, uh, three AD and three MCIs. And the methods um, uh, it's uh, we using the machine learning and to extract about 40 compo uh, component or features from in total 11 million features, and we using the actually we, we applied this, uh, five um, machine learning methodologies, um, neural network, uh, random forest, um, <coughs> uh, growth process, um, a subspace machine. Uh, and uh, sparser, uh, sparser um, regression. Current results is uh, encouraging um, because from a small number of, uh, of uh, a cohort, we cannot expect much. Uh, currently we have about, uh, for the sensitivity, it's uh, 100% and uh, um, specificity is about 40, 70%. It's not uh, very good, but we, we expect uh, as we uh, recruit more pa patient or, and the cohort, we will have better results. Uh, the machine learning here, I mentioned we have five method methods applied. Um, the spicer um, regression is, is quite uh, good for the early stages because we can see from the uh, mentioned only uh, the picture or the data is uh, quite spicer. A lot of data is zero, it's very blank. So at this uh, moment, this, this method is uh, applicable. Uh, and, uh, in the future, I think uh, because it's a uh, um, breast based, it's quite easy to get to get data. And, and in the future, if we had more and more data, we may apply some uh, deep learning methodologies to, to see.